I would have bet everything that that riot was not going to happen. Now, I said, there's not going to be a problem. The officers who beat Rodney King are going to be convicted and they're going to jail. And for those who don't know the history, 30 years ago, all those officers were uh, found to be innocent. The city came unglued. When the verdicts came out, it came out about this time, about in the morning. Morning is afternoonish. We were out here on Crenshaw and people were just beeping their horns and honking their horns and it was like you can just tell the energy, but we never saw it. So when the riots happened, I actually went to First AME Church and literally when I went outside, it was like Beirut. Like it was fires everywhere. It was kind of bad. So we didn't know what we were going to do. So we went back to our home and watched it on television. And the way they stopped, they called the army in. And they had the guns and things out. And they riding around in them big trucks. Trucks covered up, but you could see the guns sticking out in there. And that's what, that's what quieted it down. And the next morning when we got up, you, blood was running down the street like water. They shot up a lot of people that night. I was in, I, I know about that ride, I know about it. I realized at that time that sometimes you don't have justice, you have just us. First of all, I started Operation about a guilt um, for not showing up in my own neighborhood. I felt guilty, like I, I need to do something. I thought he was just talking out of both sides of his mouth. I didn't take it seriously at first until he brought his executive secretary there and told me that they were going in business together. She said, I see something in him, and she's been with him day one up until now. You know, think about these 24 and 26 year olds, you know, out there thinking they're gonna change the world, um, you know, with brochures and meetings and what, whatever we were doing at, at that age. Um, it was just relentless every day, every day, every day. My God, we made it happen. We make it happen how you make it happen. Flyers, word of mouth, whatever we could do. So we did a lot of grassroots, a lot of foot pounding, a lot of soldiering ourselves. I could see the results. I could see people buying homes. I could see them opening bank accounts. Starting to hear the stories of how people's lives were changing and how financial stability was, um, you know, affording opportunities that people would not even have thought or dreamed of before. My mother was able to purchase her first home in 1992. So at the time that my mom was introduced to Operation Hope and the program, she didn't think it, home ownership was possible for her. So for me personally, seeing that she actually went through the program it was as it was introduced, it made me happy to know that her dreams was being realized at that time. It used to be a time when I would say I work for Operation Hope and I would have to explain the mission and what we do. But now, when I say I work for Operation Hope, a lot of people know the organization and what we do and what our mission is and uh, they've heard a lot and that feels good. You know, I've done workshops on tarmacs, I've done workshops outside, I've done a workshop downtown Skid Row on a Tuesday and I did a workshop to some rocket scientists on a Thursday in the same week. And within these last, you know, I don't know, four years, it's sort of exploded in a way, sort of beyond even what you know, not that I couldn't believe that growth was going to happen, but it was just so fast. If I commit that Opera Show will become, I believe, the most important non-governmental civil society organization in this country, 